Welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today question is a solution architect is designing the architecture for a software demonstration environment. The environment will run on Amazon EC2 instances in an auto-scaling group behind an application load balancer. The system will experience significant increases in traffic during working hours but is not required to operate on weekends. Which combination of actions should the solutions architect take to ensure that the system can scale to meet demand? Choose two. Option A. Use AWS auto scaling to adjust the ALB capacity based on request rate. Option B. Use AWS auto scaling to scale the capacity of the VPC internet gateway. Option C. Launch the EC2 instances in multiple AWS regions to distribute the load across regions. Option D. Use a target tracking scaling policy to scale the auto scaling group based on instance CPU utilization. And option E use scheduled scaling to change the auto scaling group minimum, maximum, and desired capacity to zero for weekends. Revert to the default values at the start of the week. And the correct answer is option A and D. Next question is, a solutions architect is designing a two-tiered architecture that includes a public subnet and a database subnet. The web servers in the public subnet must be open in the internet on port 443. The Amazon RDS for MySQL DB instance in the database subnet must be accessible only to the web servers on port 3306. Which combination of steps should the solutions architect take to meet these requirements? Choose two. Please go through the options. And the correct answer is option C and D. Next question is, a company is implementing a shared storage solution for a gaming application that is hosted in the AWS cloud. The company needs the ability to use Lustre clients to access data. The solution must be fully managed. Which solution meets these requirements? Option A. Create an AWS data sync task that shares the data as a mountable file system. Mount the file system to the application server. Option B. Create an AWS storage gateway file gateway. Create a file share that uses the required client protocol connect the application server to the file share. Option C. Create an Amazon Elastic file system and configure it to support Lustre. Attach the file system to the origin server. Connect the application server to the file system. And option D. Create an Amazon SSX for Lustre file system. Attach the file system to the origin server. Connect the application server to the file system. And the correct answer is option D. Next question is, a company runs an application that receives data from thousands of geographically dispersed remote devices that use UDP. The application processes the data immediately and sends a message back to the device if necessary. No data is stored. The company needs a solution that minimizes latency for the data transmission from the devices. The solution also must provide rapid failover over to another AWS region. Which solution will meet these requirements? Please go through the options. And the correct answer is option D. Next question is, a solution architect must migrate a Windows Internet Information Services web application to AWS. The application currently relies on a file share hosted in the user's on-premises network attached storage. The solution 
architect has proposed migrating the IIS web servers to Amazon EC2 instances in multiple availability zones that are connected to the storage solution and configuring an elastic load balancer attached to the instances, which replacement to the on-premises file share is most resilient and durable. Option A, migrate the file share to Amazon RDS. Option B, migrate the file share to AWS Storage Gateway. Option C, migrate the file share to Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. Option D, migrate the file share to Amazon Elastic File System. And the correct answer is option C. Next question is, a company is deploying a new application on Amazon EC2 instances. The application writes data to Amazon Elastic Block Store Volumes. The company needs to ensure that all data that is written to the EBS volume is encrypted at rest. Which solution will meet this requirement? Option A. Create an IAM role that specifies EBS encryption attached the role to the EC2 instances. Option B. Create the EBS volumes as encrypted volumes attached the EBS volumes to the EC2 instances. Option C. Create an EC2 instance tag that has a key of encrypt and a value of true. Track all instances that require encryption at the EBS level. And option D. Create an AWS key management service key policy that enforces EBS encryption in the account. Ensure that the key policy is active. And the correct answer is option B. Next question is, a company has a web application with sporadic usage patterns. There is heavy usage at the beginning of each month, moderate usage at the start of each week and unpredictable usage during the week. The application consists of a web server and a MySQL database server running inside the data center. The company would like to move the application to the AWS cloud and needs to select a cost-effective database platform that will not require database notifications. Which solution will meet these requirements? Option A, Amazon DynamoDB. Option B, Amazon RDS for MySQL. Option C, MySQL compatible Amazon Aurora serverless. And option D, MySQL deployed on Amazon EC2 in an auto scaling group and the correct answer is option c next question is an image hosting company stores its object in amazon s3 bucket the company wants to avoid accidental exposure of the objects in the s3 bucket to the public all s3 buckets in the entire aws account need to remain private with solution will meet these requirements web solution will meet this requirement option a use amazon guard duty to monitor s3 bucket policies create an automatic remediation action rule that uses an aws lambda function to remediate any change that makes the object public option b Use AWS Trusted Advisor to find publicly accessible S3 buckets. Configure email notifications in Trusted Advisor when a change is detected. Manually change the S3 bucket policy if it allows public access. Option C. Use AWS Resource Access Manager to find publicly accessible S3 buckets. Use Amazon Simple Notification Service to invoke an AWS Lambda function when a change is detected, deploy a Lambda function that programmatically remediates the change. And option D, use the S3 block public access feature on the account level. Use AWS organizations to create a service control policy that prevents IAM user from changing the setting. Apply the SCP to the account. And the correct answer is option D. Thank you.